Here's a story of how I almost got into a car crash with my friend. I was in the passenger seat. My friend was going round a roundabout. We're in the UK. And this guy just comes rushing down the road. Doesn't give way. And we almost collided. And that could have been me gone. But something really interesting happened. So obviously the guy said, it's my fault. My friend pointed at him and said, that is your fault. And they both put the windows down. The cars weren't hit, but they were very close to getting hit. And my friend said something to him. He said, I hope that's a lesson for you. And I hope that you do not carry on driving like that. And then the guy started saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. My friend said, no, you need to learn and stop driving like that. You need to learn from that lesson. And it's from people like you that my friend died on this road. Now, he was not being serious. He was obviously just using that example to reiterate his point of view. But here's what's interesting. As soon as he said that, what did the guy say to him? He said, no, don't say this to me. You can't say this. Drove off. You know what is the biggest killer in life? It's not the fact that the guy almost killed me with his car. It's his pride. And I hope this video is a massive example to people that pride kills. It's not cars. It's not guns. It's pride. And this is the reason why I almost died today. So let's watch this video, whoever is. Whoever's watching from, you know, your phone, from your computer, from your TV, if you're watching it with the family, just remember this. If you don't put aside your pride and if you don't learn to tame it and if you don't take responsibility for your actions, you could be the person who by accident kills somebody in a car or ruins somebody's life or starts taking drugs or doing other things that can harm others. So pride is a killer now there's a flip side to pride pride there's functional pride there's pride that allows you to become the person who you really want to be allows you to get the job that you want to get allows you to really excel in your life literally because you know how to tame the pride and this is something that is taught in books like 48 laws of power where they explain that power is so important but if it's used in the wrong hands and in the wrong context you could really harm somebody. That's why that book's banned in prisons. But I digress. If you're watching this today, please understand this. Your pride can be a killer. Stay safe, guys.